One of my favorite areas of work is with the spirits of trauma. When a person comes to me, I immediately see what is in their aura. I don't even need to carry out diagnostics. I have an internal vision. I immediately see where the energy breach is in a person. It occurs due to some kind of internal trauma. Maybe it was in childhood, maybe in youth, or in adult life. Maybe it's the ancestral spirit of the trauma. And when a person experiences a trauma, a special spirit penetrates the aura. It can be the spirit of stress, the spirit of resentment, the spirit of anxiety, the spirit of anger, the spirit of irritation. Any spirit that begins to dominate the aura. Imagine your home. It's clean, it's cozy, you feel good in it. You have put everything in order, washed everything, carried out a big cleanup, and then a spirit comes in dirty shoes, on which there is still a lot of dirt. It takes off its dirty clothes, throws them, sits down on your snow white sofa, and begins to boss you around. It does not wash the dishes after eating, does not not clean anything, it is dirty everywhere. In the same way, such a spirit comes into your aura and begins to boss you around. And you begin to understand that something in your life is wrong. You are experiencing stress, anxious feelings, because the spirit is inside and it starts provoking you so that you give it a portion of your psychic energy. Because for negative spirits, energy is the most valuable thing. You can use the psychic energy to achieve your goal, to love, pray, create, and develop your abilities. But the same energy can be taken away by the spirits of the underworld that provoke you. And if there is a state of anxiety, stress, you should know that these spirits have penetrated your aura. In this case, the first thing I would advise is to write to me, contact me so that we can start working with you more deeply. But the easiest thing you can do is watch a healing session on my YouTube channel. This can be a meditation of the goddess Ume, the god Tengri, or the god Olgan. In order to tune in using the music of transformation to completely different energy rhythms. What happens then? The music of transformation begins to influence you. Your aura begins to push out the extraneous, malevolent spirit. The aura becomes denser and does not allow other dark creatures to penetrate your aura. Because if some spirit of trauma has penetrated, then your aura opens up. Once a woman came to me. She was 35 years old. She came and said that at some point life became completely unpleasant for her. I don't know what to do. I don't want to go to work. I'm constantly having panic attacks. I'm afraid to even leave the house. When someone is knocking on the door, I'm even afraid to come to the door and have a look. I diagnosed her online and I saw a spirit had brazenly attached itself to her aura and began to provoke fear in her. I offered her an individual session, a very ancient shamanic ritual to get rid of this spirit. As soon as we performed the ritual on the same day after a couple of hours, she felt a surge of strength energy. Her eyes were shining. She said, I feel fearless. Of course, I gave her recommendations and told her to follow them for 21 days because it is during this time that the correct energy state is fixed. A month passed and she sent me a message. I don't know what has happened to me. I'm having such a rush of energy. I have so much strength. I have so many new ideas. There are new opportunities in life. We stopped feeding this spirit with our energy and the energy was redirected to development. Attention! The protective amulet and the right that you will be given at our seminar will help you to stand against all the problems of the family, cleanse your karma, and open the way to a bright future. The amulet and protective rite are necessary for you.